this week, I don't even know where to begin. Dried pasta, Andrea. This is like an ingredient. I grew up eating a lot of pasta. Me too, So it's something near and dear to me. I mean, I eat pasta weekly. I think for me, pasta is so comforting because to your point, I grew up in an Italian family. It was something that we ate with my grandparents, a memory for me. This is one of those things, and we often talk about pantry staples here. I should mention that having a few boxes or bags of pasta in my pantry is for me it's normal i don't i maybe it is for most families and most people but it's something that you can make it in a snap and one of my favorite things especially like if i didn't have time to go to the grocery store i get home late if i need to make something that's really good i can make an actual full entree all i need is some pasta and a couple of other ingredients that I have laying around the house. Yeah, I think dried pasta is a must pantry staple for everybody. And I know during COVID, you couldn't even find dried pasta. It was one of those items that because of the shelf life and because of its versatility, people were buying, you know, 10, 20 boxes at a time. Yeah. So I'm a a sucker for very simple pastas, like a aglio e olio, just Mm -hmm. a little, you know, I'll take a little bit of olive oil, warm it up in a pan. I will put some fresh garlic into the pan with it. Get that just warm, some red pepper flakes. That's all I need. And toss the pasta in there and it's delicious. Yeah. I think like a a simple tomato sauce, a pomodoro, there's nothing more comforting to me. I love linguine clams. So when I think of pasta, my mind goes straight there. Do you have a favorite cut of dried pasta? A straight cut or a long cut? Okay. Let's say what's your favorite long cut of dried pasta? Bucatini. Interesting. I love it. And what's your favorite short cut of dried pasta if you have one you don't have to i don't know I, I i typically will buy penne um which i know is probably boring but i also love garganelli yeah. a fun one okay what about you for short i am a rigatoni guy okay i love the full-size rigatoni or the mezze mm-hmm. and i like spaghetti i have regular thin spaghetti not capellini but thin spaghetti Nice. I think I would usually would get like a linguine over a a spaghetti. All right. To each his own. So on this episode, we're going to be speaking with the great Italian chef Michele Casade Massari from Luciola Restaurant on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Such an interesting guy, Andrea. It's all about the content of water. It's all about being shelf stable. It's all about being met and consistency. He's originally from Emilia Romagna. Just a super talented, great guy. Yeah, we'll also be speaking with Ricardo Felicetti. His family uh, founded Felicetti Pasta, which is kind of a big deal in Italy. In Italy, we have a wide range of uh, customers. They prefer to put the name of our pasta on the menu in order to confirm to their customers that they are looking for a high quality product. Arguably one of the greatest pastas on the planet. You know, it's not as widely seen yet today as some of the more well-known brands of pasta. But Felicetti, if you go to Italy Mm -hmm. or you go to specialty markets and look for it, uh, it's usually in like a white kind of cream colored box. Yep. It has the Monograno label. Yes. This stuff is, talk about a simple sauce. You can cook this pasta in salted water. And drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of it. And that's all you need. And it's got great flavor. Absolutely. Can't wait to talk to Ricardo soon. This is going to be a fun episode. 